Photography was invented in the 1800s. And by the early 1900s, photographers were loading cameras designed to imprint images onto rolls of photographic film. After each film was exposed, a photo developer then processed in a dark room and turned the film into negatives, which were used to make prints, to go into picture frames, and photo albums. For pretty much all of the 20th century, people purchased film, took photos, then sent the film off for processing. And only then did you get to see the prints. Folks born in this century, because of digital photography, are not ever likely to see a roll of Kodachrome. In the days of film cameras, you were limited to a couple dozen photos per roll. Now we have digital cameras and cell phones that can take thousands of photographs. No limitations. New parents and grandparents used to have to space out the times they photographed the new baby. One photo here, another there, and once a roll eventually was done, you'd have to wait while the pictures were developed just to see if a handful of the hope at least a couple of them turned out okay baby photos came back. Today's new moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas take hundreds of pictures of the kids and the grandkids at a time. No limitations. The Bible tells us that there was a time when people believed that going to God was a cumbersome process. People believed that they could not go directly to the Lord in prayer. Instead, they had to go to the temple. They had to purchase a sacrifice, then ask a priest to take the sacrifice to an altar for them and ask forgiveness for their sins. But like digital photos have eliminated the many steps between picture taking and actually having a photograph in hand. Jesus eliminated for all time the idea that only in a temple, only through a priest, can we talk to God. Jesus eliminated all the obstacles between us and God. When we pray in the name of Jesus, we pray directly to God. No limitations.